You good, didn't I? Should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> hey, are you alright? Closing your eyes won't keep monsters away, you know. I mean, not like I'm bad, but... What? Why would I hurt you? That's a weird question. Ah, I'm sorry. Sorry for scaring you. Please don't. Cry, I don't do crying. Uh, my name's William. I'm just your friendly neighborhood resident wandering ghost of this hospital. What do you mean? Am I not friendly? I meant to scare you as a joke. I didn't know you'd react like that. Am I a singer? <laughs> no, no. I just really like to sing. Plus, in life, that was one of my favorite songs. <laughs> well, I guess I can officially give you the warm welcome of the Goodman Grove Hospital at night. Wait, shouldn't you be sleeping? Kids like you should be in bed, resting, and trying to heal that arm of yours by the looks of it. Not roaming a hospital in the middle of the... Oh? You're not a kid? Well, here's news for you. I don't care. You're younger than me, and I'd class that as a kid. How do I know? I just told you. I'm dead. Have been for quite some time. I thought it was your arm that was broken, not your brain. <laughs> Sorry. I figure there's no point in theatrics at this point. It gets boring. Sorry, but my death is classified information for the elite. You know, big man in the sky. Whatever you call him, her, it. Forget it, kid. Wait, you shouldn't even be here. Mind telling me why you're here? Nope, we're done talking about me. You answer me now. Are you lost? <laughs> you were trying to find the bathroom. Now that's a really dumb excuse, but... Hmm, your stuttering was really cute, so I'll let it slide and humor you just this once. But, little dreamer, riddle me this. How does one get lost trying to find a bathroom somewhere they've been for days? <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Ah, so you got lost because of a strange noise. Hmm, what was this strange noise? Uh, uh are you sure? <laughs> uh, n no. Nothing's wrong. I just think it's time for you to head back to bed. <sighs> Why am I not surprised? Of course you wouldn't know your way back. Come on, little dreamer. I'll guide you away from the nightmares. If you really did get lost by letting your thoughts wander, then I was right. You are a dreamer. <laughs> well... Just because this is your first time seeing me, doesn't mean this is my first time seeing you. You seem like you have quite the creative mind. Always spacing out, staring off. It's as fascinating to observe as it is... Uh, disconcerting. My guess is you'd be a good writer. Or huh, maybe just a crazy person. <laughs> Your offense certainly clears up which is true then. I'll let you figure that one out. But hey, Dreamer, I think I've humored you enough. Tell me the real reason you decided to leave the warmth and safety of the hospital bed. I've heard they're quite comfortable. Let me just stop you there and tell you a fun little fact about ghosts. 
You're far more transparent than we are. Better still, I could unravel that feeble little mind of yours and dissect each busy little thought one by one. Until you really were a crazy person. Death is cold, but it also holds a power that you could only dream of. But of course, that seems rather unnecessary, don't you think? That being said, it's pointless trying to lie to me. So you can either tell me now, or deal with me pestering you all night. The other kids dared you to. How anticlimactic. What is it with kids nowadays putting each other in danger? Ah, uh, well, it isn't particularly safe here. No, I mean, this hospital just isn't safe. Especially for dreamers like you wandering around at night. Say, how badly did you break your arm? I was only asking because I figured I was right again. Maybe you did break your brain too. <laughs> I'd say you only have yourself to blame here. It's rather stupid of you to explore a hospital in the middle of the night with a broken arm just because some kids dared you to. You're vulnerable to anything and anyone. You could get even more injured, to say the least. I'm not acting like a parent. I'm acting like someone who has a brain. If yours is still working, which I am seriously beginning to doubt, then perhaps listen to it when it tells you something is a bad idea. It's in its programming to keep you out of situations that could cause you harm. Buzz kill? Buzz kill. I don't think I've heard that term before. Is it new? Well, judging by your tone, I'll politely ask you to keep the meaning to yourself. You wouldn't want to drive away someone that's trying to help you. Standing by and watching unnecessary accidents happen gets tiring. I'd rather help to avoid it if I can. You don't need to worry about that. Though I will tell you that I happen to be wandering these same halls at night in... Hmm, 1926, I believe it was. I tripped over a discarded gown and added a rather minor head injury to my reason of staying here. <laughs> Walking alone at night is never wise. And I'm guessing by that look, 1926 was a long time ago to you. I struggle to keep track of the years. I measure time in new haircuts and fashion trends and bizarre little updates to the English language. Please tell me kids have stopped saying groovy. I could never quite take to that. <laughs> I see. Could you, perhaps, tell me what year it is? Huh. Oh. That long, huh? Oh. <laughs> uh, well, yes. The Roaring Twenties. It was a wonderful time. In some ways. And yes, I'm very old. But I don't believe I was much older than yourself when I passed. There was just darkness for a while. But then something disturbed my peace, so here I am. Watching over dreamers like you so I can guide you away from the dangers of the night. What? Nope. Nice try. But I'm still not telling you how I died. No hint or anything. Besides, you don't want to have to think about depressing stuff like that. It was almost a century ago. There's nothing to be done about it anyway. Ask me something else. The hospital residence. Well, I'm sure even just one night here could tell you that I'm not the only thing that goes thump in the night, so to say. The children that passed in 52 and 78 are little nightmares, if you ask me. Harmless, though. The doctors and nurses that busy themselves in the day have never been that interesting to me. All the same, like worker bees in their hive, bustling for the unseen queen. And the janitor? Hmm... 
but the janitor's okay. Just don't misplace his mops and brooms. He likes his order to pretend he has some control over his pathetic little life. Grumpy old sod. But again, harmless. I do feel like I was going to warn you about something. Do forgive me. Death has made me a tad less sharp than I was in life. Would you believe that? Hmm. Ah, a nice man comes to tend the gardens outside. I'm sure you've seen him pass by your window from time to time. Do you know him? Hmm, well, as I said before, people don't seem to realize just how easily I can see straight through them. I must warn you, that man is not the kind soul he likes to believe he appears to be. Your soul is kind, trusting. Be cautious, dreamer. <laughs> Did I scare you again? Let's change the topic for something better. Let's talk about you. Yes, you, little dreamer. What are your hopes, your wishes, your dreams? Hmm. Hmm. Well, those are some mighty big dreams and aspirations for someone as young as you. But it is a good thing. I think everyone deserves to have big dreams. Dreams are a good motivator to get you through life after all. Did I have any dreams when I was alive? Hmm. Good question. I suppose I did, but my time was cut too short to be able to see many of them come true. But that's why you should take care as to not put your own life to a premature end. Your dreams are still within reach. <laughs> Why are you still curious about little old me? Does it really matter what I used to dream about? Oh, it matters to you. Well, I suppose that changes everything, doesn't it? <sighs> Fine. I guess if you really must know. You asked me earlier if I was a singer. There was a time when I wanted to become one. But I died before it could happen. It's okay, though. Some things just aren't meant to be, you know? Ah, here we are. Your room. You're probably going to think this is all a dream when you wake up tomorrow. <laughs> no? You promise? Hmm. Very well. Oh, uh, dreamer? Is it... is it okay if I can sing to you? I've not had an audience for... well... I've not had an audience. It would be nice to feel like I've fulfilled some of my dream at least. <laughs> Thank you. Well, get nice and comfy then. Into bed. Go on. <clears throat> Beautiful dreamer, wake unto me. Starlight and dewdrops are awaiting thee. Sounds of the rude world heard in the day. Will by the moonlight have all passed away. Hey, dreamer, do me a favor. Live out your dreams. Hey there, guys. Just a little end section to say a huge thank you to Owls for contributing to my top tier on Patreon already. She messaged me asking if I'd feel comfortable with her contributing to that one, um, knowing that I didn't have much on there yet, and I may have cried just a little bit. <laughs> but uh, yes, thank you, Alice, for being a wonderful, wonderful human. And thank you also to Nika for contributing to my tip jar tier on Patreon and being my first Patreon. So, thank you both for being wonderful, kind humans, and, um, 
I hope to have more on there soon. And thank you guys all for listening. I love you guys. See you next time.